What is schizophrenia? This might be a question many of you have asked or wondered about. Schizophrenia is a chronic and severe mental health condition that impacts the way a person thinks, feels, and perceives reality. It's like a constant, uninvited guest that significantly disrupts everyday life, relationships, and overall well-being. Imagine having your thoughts scattered and your perception distorted. It's like being in a dream, but you're wide awake. The world around you seems different, not because it has changed, but because your mind interprets it differently. It's not a split personality disorder, as many think, but a condition that affects your ability to distinguish reality from your thoughts and imaginations. This mental health condition is more than a single symptom or feeling. It's a complex interplay of various symptoms that together create a unique experience for each person affected. To understand schizophrenia better, let's delve into its primary symptoms. Schizophrenia symptoms fall into two categories, positive and negative. Positive symptoms involve distortions or excesses in perception, thought, and behavior. Let's delve into these a bit more. Firstly, we have hallucinations, a phenomenon where individuals perceive things that are not real. This could mean hearing voices that no one else can hear or seeing visions that are absent in the physical world. These experiences can be incredibly vivid and real to the person experiencing them. Then we have delusions, which are false beliefs held with strong conviction. Even when there's clear evidence to the contrary, delusions can manifest in various ways. For instance, persecutory delusions involve the belief that someone or something is out to harm the individual. Grandiose delusions involve believing oneself to possess special powers or importance. Then there are referential delusions where the person believes that innocuous events or details hold personal significance specifically directed at them. Next, we see disorganized thinking and speech. This means having difficulty forming coherent thoughts or expressing them clearly. This often leads to speech that may seem rambling, nonsensical, or hard to follow. It's not simply a case of losing your train of thought. It's a fundamental disruption in the ability to think and communicate effectively. Finally, there's disorganized behavior. This can be seen in erratic or unpredictable actions. For example, an individual might neglect personal hygiene, withdraw from social interaction, or engage in behavior that seems bizarre or impulsive. It's a disruption in the basic ability to behave in a manner that's considered normal or expected. Each of these symptoms represents a significant divergence from the individual's usual perception, thinking, or behavior. They can be distressing, confusing, and can significantly interfere with daily life. But it's important to remember that these are symptoms of a condition, not reflections of the individual's character or worth. While these positive symptoms can be quite apparent, there's another set of symptoms that are more subtle, yet equally disabling. Negative symptoms of schizophrenia involve a loss of normal functions. These symptoms may not be as obvious as the positive symptoms, but they can be equally debilitating, affecting a person's ability to function normally in daily life. One of the most common negative symptoms is apathy, or a lack of motivation. This isn't just a case of feeling a little unmotivated or lazy. It's a profound loss of interest and drive that can lead to withdrawal from social activities and a decrease in productivity. Imagine losing all interest in the things you once loved, no longer finding joy in social interactions, hobbies, or even simple daily tasks. This is the reality for many people living with schizophrenia. Another negative symptom is reduced emotional expression. This doesn't mean the person doesn't feel emotions, but rather they have difficulty expressing them. They may appear flat or emotionless, often leading others to perceive them as distant or uncaring. But inside, they may be experiencing a whirlwind of emotions they just can't express. Then there's anhedonia, a term that refers to the inability to experience pleasure from normally enjoyable activities. Think of your favorite food, song, or pastime. Now imagine deriving no joy from them. Anhedonia can rob individuals of these simple pleasures, further contributing to their isolation and withdrawal. Finally, cognitive deficits are also considered negative symptoms of schizophrenia. These can manifest as problems with memory, attention, and the ability to focus. Everyday tasks that require these cognitive functions, like remembering appointments or paying bills, can become challenging. This can further exacerbate feelings of frustration and helplessness. Negative symptoms like these can be subtle, yet they significantly impact a person's quality of life. 
they can make it difficult to maintain relationships, hold down a job, or simply get through the day. It's important to remember that these symptoms are not a choice or a sign of weakness. They are part of a complex mental health disorder that requires understanding, compassion, and effective treatment. Now that we know about the symptoms, we might wonder, what causes schizophrenia? The exact cause of schizophrenia remains unknown, but it's believed to be a complex interplay of genetic and environmental factors. Let's delve into this a bit more. In terms of genetics, people with a family history of schizophrenia are more likely to develop the condition. It's not a guaranteed outcome, but the risk is there. Moving on to brain development, certain abnormalities or imbalances in neurotransmitters, particularly dopamine, might play a role in the onset of schizophrenia. The brain is a complex organ, and even slight deviations in its structure or function can lead to significant effects on our mental health. Finally, environmental factors can also contribute to the risk of developing schizophrenia. Early childhood trauma, neglect, or abuse can potentially increase the risk. While we do not yet fully understand the causes, we have made significant strides in managing the symptoms. While there is no cure for schizophrenia, effective treatments can manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Schizophrenia might seem like an overwhelming condition, but it's important to remember that there are a plethora of treatments available that can help manage its symptoms and enhance one's quality of life. The treatment plan is often tailored to the individual's needs, taking into account the severity of their symptoms and their personal circumstances. One cornerstone of schizophrenia treatment is medication. Antipsychotic medications are specifically designed to regulate levels of dopamine, a neurotransmitter in the brain, thus reducing the intensity and frequency of psychotic symptoms. These medications can be a lifeline for those living with schizophrenia, helping to bring clarity where there once was confusion and peace where there once was distress. But medication is only part of the story. Psychotherapy plays an equally crucial role in the treatment of schizophrenia. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is a type of psychotherapy often used. CBT helps individuals understand their symptoms, develop coping mechanisms, manage stress, and improve social and communication skills. By addressing the psychological and emotional aspects of the condition, psychotherapy can empower individuals to take control of their lives. Another invaluable resource in the treatment of schizophrenia is the power of community. Support groups provide a safe and understanding environment where individuals can connect with others who are facing similar challenges. These groups offer an opportunity to share experiences, learn from each other, and draw strength from the collective. They serve as a reminder that no one is alone in their journey and that, with the right support, progress is possible. It's also worth mentioning that a healthy lifestyle can complement these treatments. Regular physical activity, a balanced diet and adequate sleep can all contribute to better overall health and well-being. Living with schizophrenia can be challenging, but with the right treatment and support, individuals can lead fulfilling and productive lives. Remember, having schizophrenia is only one aspect of a person's identity. With the right help and support, it is entirely possible for individuals with this condition to thrive and contribute positively to society. Living with schizophrenia can be challenging, but it's not impossible. It's a journey, one that begins with acknowledging the situation and seeking help. Early diagnosis and treatment can significantly improve the outlook. The right support can make a world of difference, providing the tools and resources necessary to manage symptoms and minimize their impact on daily life. It's important to remember that those living with schizophrenia are capable of leading fulfilling and productive lives. With the right treatment plan, they can continue to pursue their passions, nurture relationships, and contribute to their communities. Schizophrenia, like any other health condition, is just one aspect of a person's identity. It doesn't define them. It's part of their story, but it's not the whole story. Remember, mental health matters. Let's continue the conversation and end the stigma around schizophrenia.